you get me the fuck out of this town? Thank you. Previously on Montana Dana, my car breaks down in Calhoun, Georgia. I found out that I blew my transmission and it's going to cost $3,500 to fix. But at least I had a nutritious and delicious dinner that evening. Good morning, friends. If you want to know where I'm at, I just did a door reveal. Good morning. Calhoun, Georgia. Cracker Barrel parking lot coming in hot. Got some good old frost on the windows this morning. Ooh, yeah, we're frozen solid. Frozen solid. Okay, here we are in our frozen car. That is some thick ice this morning. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we're gonna be here a hot minute. I don't think I have an ice scraper. It's like a Pablo Picasso happening in our windshield this morning. I'm really surprised how warm I stayed last night considering there's so much ice. It got down to 20 degrees. That little heating pad comes in very, very handy. It's pretty low wattage, so it lasts all night, but it did also drain my batteries. So right now I'm heading to Starbucks, gonna charge up my Jackeries, and then taking my car in to get it fixed, to get it serviced, to get a new transmission. So I have to have some charge because I'm gonna be sitting outside of a random mechanics. The original plan was to travel south, like back to Arizona, but I really wanted to go to Nashville and go into, there's a place called BMI and I want to make sure all my songs are registered correctly. I have a song, it's called Walk On Baby. It keeps getting played in commercials in Europe and in TV shows in, in Europe. So I need to make sure all my songs are registered and ready to go. Also, they kind of help you get your songs placed. So maybe they can give me some pointers. I went in there a long time ago before I had any like recordings of my songs. Basically, they said do better and come back later. So now that I have have some songs ready to go, I'm gonna go back in badly, badly in need of a toothbrush. I woke up at six and I'm like, I'm just gonna go, go to Starbucks, start getting work done and then head to Nashville. Hopefully that's happening later today. We'll see. We're so close. Yay. To Starbucks we go. Excuse me. Eyes, you're blocking my view. I took a wrong turn. Now I'm stuck. Turn right onto Richardson Road Southeast. Then your destination will be on the right. Oh God, thank you, Siri. Excuse me, Siri. Can you get me the fuck out of this town? Thank you. I just would like to charge my jackeries. I would like to find an easy parking spot and then your destination is on the right. Go get my transmission fixed. Heading to Nashville. Maybe that's my new song. I was broke down in Georgia and I'm all out of time with Nashville on my mind. Did you hear that? Why is my car squeaking so incredibly loud? I guess I could probably take my window screen down if it's completely necessary. All right, I'm bringing in three devices, two jackeries, and a partridge in a pear tree. While I was editing and charging my jackeries, I heard from the mechanic and my transmission was supposed to be in by noon and around one o'clock it still wasn't in. They were expecting it later that day, but I decided instead to wait till the next morning because I didn't want to have to leave my car overnight if they didn't happen to finish installing the transmission. So I just decided to wait till the next morning and I went and did a workout at Planet Fitness. In this lifestyle, you have to be able to adjust and just find the next best thing. I was kind of annoyed I wasn't getting my transmission fixed, but I was able to edit and upload a couple videos and get a workout in. So just trying to do what I can, find the positive in the situation and when things don't go my way, I just find the next best option. And having a sense of humor, those two things are keeping me sane throughout this van life journey. Shit is going down and it is not how I expected to start off my adventure, but here we are just doing my best. And at least I got a workout in and got some videos uploaded. So it's gonna be about a three hour upload if I stayed at Starbucks. So I came to Planet Fitness and I uploaded in 20 minutes do a workout so I can shower. I just want to shower, that's all I want in life right now. I love that Planet Fitness is my shower every day because it forces me to work out when I do not want to. I'm just gonna show up for 15 minutes. Usually I want to stay longer once I get to 15 minutes, but if I'm still exhausted, at the end of 15 minutes, I showed up, I put in a little bit of work and we're good with that. Even just put five minutes in, go outside for a five minute walk. I promise getting out the door Getting to the gym is the hardest part. Oh, I feel like a brown new human. All showered up. Do you like the puffer jacket I got in Ireland? She cute, she cute, she real cute. 
It's actually cold enough to wear my winter clothes. I haven't gotten to wear my winter clothes in so long. So very exciting. I just got the news that my transmission has not been delivered yet. So I'm here in Georgia. I'm gonna take it in at 8 a.m. in the morning, but for now I'm just gonna crank out a bunch of videos. So I'm heading back into Planet Fitness. It's my new home now. P.O. Box Planet Fitness, Calhoun, Georgia. That's me. Kind of a boring edit day, but there is Panda Express in my future. So I'm very excited about that. I truly would love to be an off-grid van lifer. Like that sounds lovely. I would really love solar. I'd really love a toilet. And I would really love that Elon Musk intranet. But I do not have those things right now. So I'm spending the day in the Planet Fitness parking lot. But tomorrow's gonna be more fun. Hopefully they get my transmission in right away first thing they said they would. And then we're going to Nashville. I have some business to take care of there. And then I wanna perform at the, Blue Lord, at the Bluebird lounge or at least go in there and scope it out see what it's all about i'm gonna finish charging the jackery grab my computer and just get some shit done today that's what we're doing it's get or shit or done day there's so much planning every day in van life when you're doing it this way i would love to just lay in my bed and edit right now but i know i'm going to use too much of the jackery power there's not enough sun outside to do solar and i know tomorrow i'm going to be sitting in a parking lot at a transmission place and i'm going to need all the power humanly possible because it's going to be chilly and i'm going to need to edit so i'm going to charge my jackeries to the max to set myself up for tomorrow that's why we're still hanging out at le planet fitness I would much prefer to go edit at Starbucks, but their upload speed is Dinosaurus Rex. I can't sit there and wait for three hours for a video to upload. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that to future Dana. Every time I go to Starbucks or a gas station, I fill this up with hot water, so. Have an afternoon tea. I'm just sitting, waiting for me. Doing my editing. I pretty much live here now. Time for some Panda Express. We are coming in hot at 17, 16 miles per hour. Oh, oh, it shifted. Wow. Good for you, Suburban. I don't know why these people are not going around me, but okay. Do I just park here for a sec? There's probably no parking. Hmm. The parking situation is a real bitch. We'll just take up 10 spaces real quick and go get our food and then go park at Cracker Bear. Oh yes, I'm so hungry. I'm just gonna panda and chill. Gonna set up my place. Definitely don't feel like doing this every time, but it's always so worth it to feel cozy and comfy. It's still kind of early in the night, so I'm parked in kind of a weird spot. It's hard to find a spot for the trailer to fit. So um, I'll move later, like after Cracker Barrel closes and all the cars leave. Gonna warm it up in here, light some candles, eat some food, put everything back up on the walls and just have a relaxing evening, yes. You can't tell, but we're like on a tilt. I put my emergency brake on. I need to get some blocks or jacks or something for the trailer. This little spot does not like a step. I need to fix it. Woo! Okay, first things first, I need food. I worked out like four hours, five hours ago, and I haven't eaten since breakfast. Tomorrow, I finally get my transmission fixed and we head to Nashville. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you made it this far, write Panda in the comments down below and I will write you back. I appreciate your support. If you made it this far in the video, give it a thumbs up and if you loved it, share it with your friends. We'll see you tomorrow.